part-time job as a uh, support worker with guys with um, mental disabilities or intellectual disabilities, severe ones, uh, that live in a specific house just for them. We go in as shift workers, go in and do our shifts and, um, and look after them basically. So, you know, most days are good, most days are cruisy, doesn't matter if I'm low carb, doesn't matter if I'm fasting, nothing, I still get through it, but today, man, today was different. Uh, I, um, I haven't eaten, and that's probably half of it. Uh, it's coming up four o'clock, I still haven't eaten anything today. Had fuck all caffeine, and man, <laughs> hangry, hungry and angry. Like the last couple of hours at work, I just did not want anyone to even talk to me. I was snapping at them. Oh, I wasn't snapping. I was holding my tongue, man, because I've never, ever, ever in two and a half years shown any sign of weakness or any sign of um, stress or snapping at anyone or anything like that. And I'm really proud of that. So for me to today, actually for the first time, be be about to snap at someone, you know, that's that's crazy. And it's all to do with this fucking diet, man. I'm telling you. I've been I've been dieting pretty much this whole year. Um and in proper prep mode at these last 12 weeks. Um but in saying that, I, I have literally been dieting this whole year. I mean obviously not well enough because otherwise it would have got shredded way sooner. But it's come to this and it's come down to the wire and um everything in my power to get as lean as possible uh, by that time naturally of course so there's no chemically enhancing there's no fucking there's no help it's all down to uh, my natural testosterone levels and maintaining them um, because the last thing I want to do is to come out of a prep and have fucked up natural testosterone levels man that, that you know that's not worth it that's really not worth it and I've seen quite a few videos of people who they're not on juice or anything, they're not on gear, but because they've got so lean and been in a calorie deficit for so long, uh, they've, you know, fucked up their natural testosterone levels. And, I mean, I honestly don't think that's me because one good thing about not dieting properly um, for this first probably half of this year was that the fat loss was extremely slow. So my strength was maintained, my muscle mass was maintained. In these last 12 weeks, um, strength has gone down a little bit deadlifts I'm doing sets with 160 rather than 180 bench press I'm doing sets with you know 70 kgs or maybe 80 at tops rather than like 85 90 um, and squats it really depends on the day you know um, I'm feeling good if my knees are feeling good I've got lots of energy I can squat just the same you know three plates for for a set of five um, but usually that's, that's strength um, strength work. If you guys have seen the way I train, it's usually uh, you know lighter weight, no less than 10 to 12 reps, um, even up to 15, 20 reps in a drop set or a super set or something like that. So I really like intense um, workouts, but not heavy. So you control the intensity, guys. You, you, you know, you can have 60 kgs on the bar, you can have 100 kgs on the bar, you can have 140 kgs on the bar. Depending on how many reps you do and how slow your movement is, you're going to get the exact same workout, man. You're going to get a fucking awesome pump, even on 60 kgs. Um, better than the one, better than the pump you're going to get with the heavy weight, that's for sure. So, you know, that's that's how I train and that's how I always have trained and probably how I always will train because I don't want to fuck up my joints and I'm natural. So, you know, 24 years old, last thing I want is um, a troublesome shoulder or knee, which I already do have unfortunately but the last thing I want to do is aggravate it by doing heavy stupid weights so but in saying that you must must continue to lift as heavy as you were whether you were lifting heavy or light before you've got to continue the way you were training continue to train intense because if you if you stop if, if that intensity starts dropping while you're dieting man your strength is going to go down you've got to keep that intensity whether that's with a pre-workout, caffeine, coffee, whatever you need to do, training partner, music, there's a few good ideas for you. Uh, whatever you. Whatever you do, you need to keep training hard. I've trained with the same weight, uh, you know, pretty much the same amount of reps, every single workout, different exercises, different, 
you know, dumbbells, barbells, whatever. I, I mix it up every workout, but as far as the intensity goes, it's been there every single workout. If I find I'm not intense in the first 10 minutes, um, you know, I won't leave. And usually, funnily enough, by the end of the workout, I have got intense. So if you're not feeling it at the start, it's not the end of the world, right? Push through, watch, watch some YouTube or something, watch something to motivate you, and, uh, and you'll get to the end of the workout. Having you guys support, Instagram's huge. Um, you know, this Fit Fam thing is amazing, and you've got to get on it, man, if you're not. Um, everyone's so supportive, and <sighs> can't wait to hit the stage on the Gold Coast. As lean as I've ever been. Um, and show those guys what Alice Springs is really made of. Because that's what I've been doing, man. I, I moved to Alice Springs five years ago. Um, from New Zealand. Straight from New Zealand. I've lived in Adelaide for six months. But apart from that, I've spent my whole five and a half years that have been in Australia in Alice Springs. Now, you guys might think that's sad. Um, I have done a lot of, you know, holidays. I've had at least two holidays a year. And honestly, guys, one thing, the thing that I'll leave you with right now is the fact that... I didn't realize this until about two years after living here, but all you need is a small group of friends, a small circle that you can hang out with, that you can talk to, um, and you can live anywhere, guys. It doesn't really matter. But one thing I will say is that having one member of family, um, wherever you're living, especially if it's remote, like Alice Springs, helps a shit ton, man. And I've got my sister here, and I've also got my best mate from New Zealand. And I've got all my new best mates. God, New Zealand's fucking... Uh, uh, new Zealand's an old life now, man. Alice Springs is my home. It really is. Um, or at least it's my second home. So, And I'm buying a house here. But in saying that, what I was going to say before is that Alice Springs has been an awesome opportunity for me to just put my head down. No judgment. Um, no bullshit that goes on in the gyms, man. The, the gyms here are cool, positive. Um, a niche group of people, you can become mates with all the people that go there, and I'm sure that would happen in any place. I mean, I can't wait to move away from here and start going to the gyms in my local, new local place and start meeting people there, you know, because that is literally just as good as going to the club, man. It's, it's even better for meeting people because you're not pissed as and you'll fucking remember it the next day, you know? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I am rambling right now. All I was going to say about Alice Springs is that it's let me put my head down, train hard, and what I'm going to do on October the 17th is come out from nowhere and I hope everyone's impressed because I am working my fucking ass off to impress everyone there and to make the most of this one opportunity I'm going to have to showcase myself because that's what it is, man. This is an opportunity, as Greg Plitt said. Oh my God, I'm fucking rambling real bad now, but as Greg Plitt said, you don't know what getting in shape is going to do for you, man. It, it can't be about the girls, it can't be, you know, about the money, but if you're in awesome shape and you've got that motivation and you've got that consistency and you've got those values in you already, then when those opportunities come up, man, you're going to be right there. You can take it. As far and like, he, he's talking about fitness model opportunities, right, which is what I'm interested in. So if I get into great shape now and maintain it, well, hey, any opportunities that come up in the future, man, I'll be right there. I'll be ready. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so this video has gone for probably about 17 minutes. And I won't keep you any longer. But tomorrow, join me again for another episode. We're going to go through my, my meals. Um, I'm going to take you to the grocery store, so show you what I get, do a bit of meal prep, and, um, and I'll see you then. So you guys, <laughs> yeah. I'm in a way better mood now, what can I say? I'm excited as fuck, but the fact doesn't change, I, I can still eat fuck all today, so that sucks, but it is what it is. So I'll see you guys on the next one.